changing the way we, we create electricity is a long-term project. Short-term, there's lots of things we can do. Now, you probably know there's lots of little devices that you can stick onto your phone, which um, are claimed will neutralise the electrosmog. Some work very, very well, some don't. There are even little pendants um, that you can hang around your neck, which claim to neutralise electrosmog. Some actually do. Not 100%, I would suggest, but some are very, very good. Basically, in this area, you get what you pay for. If you go for a very cheap device, you're going to get a cheap effect. Um, what these devices do, they set up an interference wave. I know if you can imagine this, if you get two waves and the one is going like this, on the other is copying it in a mirror form. So where the one wave goes down, the other wave goes up. And if you feed both of them together, they neutralize each other and you just get a blank line. That's the theory behind these devices which neutralize electrosmog. It's okay in itself, and this is very old technology, of course. Uh, this is the same technology which is used to, uh, in the Second World War, for example, to jam radio transmissions. Um, still used today, actually, to jam radio transmissions from radios that your government, sort of some governments, don't want you to hear. But it's not quite good enough. You see, for example, if you've got a Nokia 630i cell phone, mobile phone, and your telephone provider is, shall we say, Vodafone, or it might be AT&T, whatever, you might have a device which you stick onto your phone and it is so tuned to exactly that that it neutralizes all of the electrosmog. Could be. However, you take the same phone and change your provider and you might only have 80% or a different phone from a different manufacturer, a Siemens. And you might only have 5% or none at all. And the other disadvantage, or the, or the main disadvantage, is that these devices work by generating permanently electrosmog waves. So when your phone is switched off, these devices themselves are a source of electrosmog. Hmm. Then, when the cell phone technology changes, and we know from experience that every 18 months there's a new form of cell phone technology, the likelihood is that these devices will then no longer work at all. No, we need to do something much more radical, much more basic. We need to correct the electricity itself so that these devices not just phones, you know, your food mixer and your television and your hi-fi and your computer are no longer compelled to throw off chaotic electricity in wild electron bundles in order to maintain their own integrity. And there is a way of doing this. It's a technology which hasn't been around for very long. It was developed in Germany um, at the end of the 1980s, um, but it wasn't until 2005 that it really became generally available. And there are several different devices. There's one that you stick onto the battery of the phone, and one that does that orders the electricity within the battery, so that the phone is then getting 100% ordered electricity and no longer has any need to throw off chaotic electricity, because it can use all the electricity it actually gets has a slight additional advantage in that the charge in the battery will last longer because there's no waste. And in many cases, the reception will actually be considerably improved. That's one thing you can do. 
Then there are other devices which you can install in your home which will stop the generation of electrosmog from the electrical installations in your home, but also at the same time block to a very large extent electrosmog coming from outside. You can attach a small device to your body and this will stop electrosmog affecting you. It won't stop it being impinging upon you, but it will stop it affecting you. It's called the Harmony Evolution. You'd probably wear it on your thymus gland or on your lower abdomen or whatever it works for you, but that effectively stops the wild scalar waves disrupting your own body's internal communication systems. And maybe you'd like to have a look at this. And there's a whole website about it. It's called stopelectrosmog.com. And yeah, maybe there's something there for you. Thank you.